He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Micah six eight. Devotional. What does God want? What is God's will for my life? What is my purpose and calling? What can I do to please God? In the New Testament, Jesus provides the answer to those questions by telling his followers to love God and love people. In the Old Testament, the pop the prophet Micah, empowered by the Holy Spirit, summarizes the God's will for Israel by saying, "He has told you, O man." What is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, and to lo- to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God, Micah, chapter six, verse eight. These words were penned during a time when God's people were trying to please Him with the sacrifices, offerings, and going through. Religious motions while living lives of、uh, deception, violence, and pride. But as the prophet Hosea writes, "I, God, desire mercy, not sacrifice, and the acknowledgment of God rather than burnt offerings." Hosea six six. God is after all heart motives, not all outward religious activity or begrudging obedience. Let's break down what God desires of us. Do justice. Doing justice requires faith and actions, working together, helping the hurting. Def- Defining the weak, dealing fairly with the people we encounter, and speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves. In other words, to do justice, we must love others as we love ourselves. Love kindness. The mercy of God is an extreme kindness, and because we've been shown. And deserve the kindness by Him. We can show and deserve the kindness to others. God desires these things more than endless. I am sorry, speeches. God is kind to the grateful and the wicked. Luke six thirty five. So we should be too. Walk humbly. Be teachable, be moldable, moldable. Be moldable. Remember, you are not God. You have a limitation. You need a creator and a savior. You are only here because God spoke you into existence. So confidently embrace who you are and who you are not, because it's when we live fully. Surrendered to God, that He does incredible things through us, seeking justice, loving kindness, and walking humbly. That is what God wants from us. So, in a world that saturated with injustice, hatred, and、uh, arrogance, let's be people marked by this. Three things. Prayer, God, please show me how to love you and your people. Align my heart with your will, and help me to make decisions that bring you glory and honor. Help me to see myself accurately, so that way I can love others fully. Show me how to show justice and mercy to those who need it. You are just, and you are merciful. Thank you, in Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture, 
He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Micah, chapter six, verse eight. 世人呢、啊，耶和华已指示你何为善，他向你所要的是什么呢？只要你行公义。好怜悯，存谦卑的心，与你的神同行。米迦书六八。Welcome. God loved you before He laid the foundation of the universe. Use this time to thank Him for everything He has done for you, and trust that He is in control. Honor God. Now to the King. Eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory for ever and ever, Amen. First Timothy one seventeen, complete this sentence. God is. Spend this next few moments, thanking God for who He is, and all that He's done for you. My concerns, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, "You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her." Luke, chapter ten, verse forty-one through forty-two. What's worrying you? Today, be honest about how you are doing at the moment, and bring your concerns to God. Thank God, God, your good and your mercy endures forever. Nothing can compare to you, and no one is like you. Thank you for being honest, kind, good, and true. I am so grateful that you allow me to enter into your presence. It's in your presence that I find complete joy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Closing. Take a moment to process what stood out to you, and feel free to stay in this space for as long as you need.